and with another video and today we are going to be doing the ultimate fast food casual restaurant bracket and yeah we're gonna get right into it because this is a lot i know we don't have march madness this is the closest thing we can get to it so we're gonna start off in the mac and dick mcdonald region and obviously mcdonald's versus Ju jollibee um never had jollibee so I'm going to go right with it with McDonald's. McDonald's, easy win. It's a blowout win. I couldn't expect anything less. Now with Wawa and Sheets, you know, if you're ever on a road trip and you need something quick, these are one of the places that you might see, depending on your region. And depending on my region, I have seen more Wawas than Sheets. I have had better experiences at these Wawas, so I'm going to have to go with Wawa by default, okay? Can we get that centered? Can we get that centered? Okay, yes, we do. All right, so moving on. Now we have Whataburger versus Quiznos. Now, I have not had a Whataburger. I am not from Texas or the Southwest, and I haven't had Quiznos in a minute. But I can imagine if I have had Whataburger, I would pick Whataburger over a damn Quiznos. So I'm going to go with Whataburger. All right, Whataburger gets that W, and Pan Express versus Potbelly. Never had Potbelly. Pan Express wins by default i'm sorry sorry if you're a potbelly fan so we're gonna go on to dairy queen versus carl's jr or hardy and i do not like um dairy queen's food is i but their ice cream is good but we're judging on your whole your whole resume your repertoire and because of that i'm just gonna have to go with carl's jr's or Hardee's. I'm, I'm just going to put Hardee's. All right. I'm sorry. Now, as for Arby's and Taco Cabana, all right. Never had Taco Cabana and Arby's. Just based on them curly fries alone, they get the W. Just, they get the W. Easy. All right. And then we got to move on to Panera Bread versus Jersey Mike's. Now, Panera Bread, you know, it's bougie. Yes, it is. And Jersey Mike's, you know, I've had it before. It's not all that to me. All right? I'm not a big fan of subs, okay? So I'm going to have to go with Panera Bread. That broccoli cheddar soup, boy, if you've ever had it, you already know. You already know, all right? And then finally, we have A&W versus Chipotle. The only thing A&W I've had was like their root beer. That's the only thing I know about it. Chipotle, getting the easy dub, all right? So we're done with the Mac and Dick McDonald region. Now we're going to move on to the Chick fil A Penn Station. Chick fil A, the No Sundays region. All right. And I don't know if all these places are closed on Sunday. I don't think that that's the case, but who cares? It's Chick fil A's region. They're probably going to win. But Chick fil A versus Penn Station. Don't really care about Penn Station. The only Penn Station I know about is the one in New York City. So we're going to put Chick fil A right there. All right. So going on to Moe's and Jimmy John's. Going to have to give it to Moe's. Welcome to Moe's. That's what they always say whenever you come in. And, like, the Moe's near me, where I'm at home, like, they say it so fast, like, you don't even know what they're saying. They, you come in, they're like, welcome to Moe's! I'm like, okay, relax. Never had Jimmy John's, by the way. But Culver's versus Boston Market. Boston Market. Gotta go with the Boston Market, okay? Can't have it any other way. Domino's versus Torchy Tacos. I don't know what a torchy taco is, but I know that I love me some Domino's. Shout out to Domino's with that loyalty program I got. I still use it because I just love me some Domino's. Get that cookie brownie. That is like one of the best things they got at Domino's, all right? It's not Domino's pizza anymore. It's just Domino's, all right? White Castles versus Lil Caesars. Lil Caesars is trash. White Castle is also kind of not that great. So it, I don't even know how White Castle got a six seed. Um, the committee needs to change that up. That don't make no sense to me. Now we have Subway versus Churches. All right. I like Subway. Subway is like the only sub place that I like. All right. Some people talk trash about Subway. And, you know, Jared out here molesting children, got child porn. But forget that, you know. I like Subway. Never really had churches before. So I'm going to go with it by default. Cookout versus Papa John's. Now, my friend's going to get mad at me for this because he loves Papa John's. He thinks it's superior to Domino's. But Cookout, them trays, all right? You get a double with cheese. You can get that chicken quesadilla that barely has chicken in it. But them shakes, though, Cookout, 
they get the dub. All right, and finally, Burger King Sabaro. Sabaro is not that bad to me. A guy from New York who likes his New York pizza, I like Sabaro pizza. I but it, you can't have it over Burger King. Like that doesn't make any sense. All right, so now we're gonna go into the Dave Thomas region. I don't know who Dave Thomas is. Couldn't care less. All right, Wendy's versus Wiener Schnitzel. Um, never had Wiener Schnitzel. A Venus schnitzel. So we're gonna go with Wendy's. All right, Wendy's got breakfast now. I haven't checked it out. Maybe I could come out with a video. Who knows? Let me know if you want me to come out with that down below. Sonic versus Checkers and rallies. Honestly, this is a good matchup right here. All right, I like this matchup, but I'm gonna have to give it to Sonic, man. Like Sonic, Sonic slaps. All right, I don't even eat that much fast food, but Sonic slaps like. Past the fries at Checkers, nothing really tastes that great, all right? It's just cheap. Sonic got quality, though, all right? Now we're going to Shake Shack versus Swenson's. Um, never had a Swenson's, but Shake Shack, yo, Shake Shack is the bomb. It is the bomb, all right? So Shake Shack wins Steak and Shake. Now, that would have been an interesting matchup, Steak and Shake with uh, Shake Shack. That would have been interesting, but I've never had a Wings Over or steak and shake. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to go with uh, steak and shake. Honestly, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not that well versed. All right, I've been on the East Coast all my life, so some of these places are kind of weird to me. So raisin canes versus Del Taco, another matchup. Two places that I've never eaten before. But I'm gonna have to go with um, raisin canes because I know that it's a chicken place. Um, and I've seen what their food looks like. It looks pretty damn good. So going based off of uh, appearance, I'm going to have to go with Raisin Canes. All right. Then finally, we have, well, not finally in this region, but KFC versus Blimpy. All right. I don't know Blimpy still exists. It's like um, the Walmart great value version of Subway, basically. All right. My grandfather used to love it. R.I.P. He used to take me to Blimpy's before we go to Mets games. All right. They sandwiches was I right. Okay. But KFC, they get the W here. All right, got to get that crispy kernel sandwich. I got to try that donut sandwich, though. For real, though. Skyline Chili versus Qdoba. Qdoba wins. Never had Skyline Chili. I would not go to a Chili-specific place. Well, I might go to a Chili-specific place. In my town in Wilmington, they have a uh, place that is chicken salad-specific. I don't know why they did that, but they did it. El Pollo Loco versus Taco Bell. Taco Bell has a special place in my heart. I cannot have Taco Bell taking that L. I had Taco Bell yesterday. So this is going to be an interesting matchup with Qdoba and Taco Bell. So we got to move on to the bag fries region. All right, with five guys versus Roy Rogers, the one in 16. Um, five guys wins. I mean, like, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Like, five guys has to win. All right, Portillo's versus Zaxby's. Um, never had a Portillo, so I'm going to go with Zaxby's. All right. Yes, going with Zaxby's. The chicken is pretty damn fire. I'm not going to lie. And uh, then we have a 4-13 and matchup with Pizza Hut versus Firehouse Subs, okay? Um, Pizza Hut, yo, their pizza has something like, like, honestly, you can't talk trash about it. It's, it's, butter, it's very buttery, and I like that. I like that. Papa John's is so underwhelming, bro. It, it, it's like, it's better than Little Caesars, but that's all I can say about it. All right. Now moving on to Bojangles versus Noodles and Company. Noodles and Company didn't stand a chance. Didn't stand a chance against Bojangles, man. Them Supremes reign supreme, and they move on. Come on now. The Bowberry Biscuits, dog. Like, nah, B. Nah, B. Moving on, Jack and Box PDQ. We have an upset on our hands, guys. We have an upset on our hands because PDQ, they just put a PDQ in New York. I had it. It's up there with Chick-fil-A. I'm not kidding. If if it weren't for the price, it would be up there neck and neck with Chick-fil-A. Not kidding. Honey butter chicken sandwich, amazing. Their tater tots, great. Their sauces, unbelievable. PDQ, stop sleeping. Jack in a Box did not stand a chance. They lost by 10 in this matchup. All right, Popeyes versus Schlotzkis. Never had a Schlotzkis, so I'm going to go with Popeyes. Popeyes, chicken and biscuits. All right, moving on along, John Silver's Wingstop. Another upset, kind of, because um, I don't eat no fish from 
fast food places. So Wingstop easily gets the W. All right, easily gets that dub. Then we have In and Out versus Baja Fresh. Baja Fresh. I never had a Baja Fresh. So I'm gonna go with In. I'm just gonna In and Out. I don't care. All right. So we're moving on. So I'm gonna stay in this region, fill out this side for the Sweet 16. See who makes the Sweet 16. And Five Guys versus Zaxby's. Ah man, it's not even close. It's it's going to be Five Guys. Five guys, burgers and fries, bro. Them bag fries. Them bag fries. They you cannot compete. You cannot compete, alright? So with Pizza Hut versus Bojangles, dude. Bojangles. Easy money. Easy money for Bojangles. I'm sorry, the buttery crust, buttery crust cannot stand up to the Supremes, the Bowberry biscuits, the Cajun Filet biscuit. They used to have a pimento cheese, Cajun Filet biscuit. Ooh, it tastes so good. But all right, moving on to PDQ and Popeyes. Yo, that PDQ sandwich, it just hit better. It hit better than what Popeyes could do. And Popeyes, they like to um market like their different shrimp combos and chicken tender combos. It's really the same shit over and over. They just changed the name a little bit. Like the black and pepper or the chicken finger, like it's the same stuff. They just changing the name. So, I'm sorry, Popeyes, you taking the L. PDQ is our Cinderella right now. Moving on. Wingstop versus In-N-Out. Never had In-N-Out. It's all hype to me. So, I well, I'll say it's only hype because I've never had it. So, I'm going to have to go to Wingstop by default. All right. And let's move on down. All right. Now we got that figured out. Those are Sweet 16 candidates. And... In the Dave Thomas region, Wendy's versus Sonic. Wendy's. Wendy's. Get in. No, not Wendy's. Well, I'm bugging. Sonic gets the upset. Sonic gets the upset, moves on to the Sweet 16, takes out the number one seeded Wendy's. And then Shake Shack versus Steak and Shake. The Battle of the Shakes and the Beef goes to Shake Shack. Shaketh the Shack. All right. They move on. And then... Raising Canes versus KFC. Um, I by default I'm gonna have to go with KFC because I've never had Raising Canes, and it's not even close. Taco Bell. Shout out to Taco Bell. Shout out to Taco Bell. All right, so that's your Sweet 16 right there for that region, and for the No Sundays region, Chick Fil A versus Bowls. Mega the Bowls. Um, customers. It's a customer service battle, honestly, because, you know, I like the customer service at Welcome at Moe's because, you know, when you walk in, just them saying that just makes you feel special. But Chick-fil-A is just, just, you can't compete with their customer service. You really can't. It's their pleasure. All right. Then moving on to Boston Market versus Domino's. Domino's. Domino's is going to get the victory. All right, I'm sorry if you're a Boston Market fan. White Castle versus Subway, it's not even close. White Castle is not gross, but it's not that good to me. So Subway, the number three seed, moves on. And then finally, we have Cookout versus Burger King. Now this one, this one has got me thinking, all right? Because I like Burger King, some of the stuff they had. The uh, the Mac and Cheetos was I, But, um... Those, the, the $5 tray, which is really $6 sometimes. The junior tray is $5. And, you know, I know Burger King got the chicken fries too, but uh, uh, ever since I've been to college, Cookout has, like, changed my life. And I got to put Cookout there. Cookout getting the upset. All right. So now we move on to the Mac and Dick McDonald region. So we have McDonald's versus Wawa. Um, McDonald's wins. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. And you're going to love it too as they move on to the Sweet 16. They're rolling right through this. Whataburger versus Panda Express. Um, I haven't had Panda Express a lot, but I, I just feel like I would like me some Whataburger. I would like me some Whataburger. So, yeah, I had Panda Express once. But just seeing what's on that menu at Whataburger, I feel like it, it would just beat it to be honest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I, I was going by by default for some other matchups, but this is an exception to the rule. All right. Hardee's versus Arby's. Arby's. 
they got the meat, they moving on, all right, and finally, we have Panetta Bread versus Chipotle, hmm, two boo, like, two bougie, they're two bougie fast food places, but it goes to Chipotle, Chipotle is great for gains, it's great for making gains in the gym, all right, so now, we have the Sweet 16 field, now it's moving on to the Elite 8, and we're gonna start in the Mac and Dick McDonald region. McDonald's versus Whataburger. I'm gonna have to go with McDonald's. All right, McDonald's is just top tier. It's really top tier. You should watch the founder. It's about McDonald's and about how it started and how like it started as a franchise. Definitely watch it. It's a pretty good film. All right, now we have Arby's and Chipotle. I mean, it's a hard comparison, but I mean, I guess we're holding them to the same standard. So I have to give it. Ch Chipotle. Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Now I'm moving on to uh oh uh, oh yeah, that's the final four, my bad. Okay, so we have Chick-fil-A versus Domino's. Chick-fil-A versus Domino's. It is going to be It's gonna be Chick-fil-A. I mean, I love me some Domino's, but Chick-fil-A, bruh. Chick-fil-A, bro. Oh, actually, ooh, I don't know. I don't know, bro, because I don't, yo, hold, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this. Y'all going to hate me for this one, but I got to put Domino's, bro. The options, the pizza, it's only missed like once or twice for me. It always hits, all right? So I'm sorry, Domino's got to go. Domino's pulls off the upset. Domino's a five seed moving on to the Elite Eight. And Subway versus Cookout. <sighs> cookout. Cookout gets it. Cookout gets it. It's going to be a five and seven seed matchup in the Elite Eight in the No Sundays region. Wow. This is getting intense, guys. Now we have Sonic versus Shake Shack. Uh, oh, my God, bro. This hurts. But I got to go with Sonic, man. Sonic is just... They're so good. They are so good. The eight-seeded Sonic moving on to the Elite Eight. Finally, we have Taco Bell versus KFC. Not even close. Some KFC and Taco Bells are actually connected. No, that's the Taco Bell. Well, actually, no, it is. Some KFCs and Taco Bells are connected, and some Pizza Huts have like their items on Taco Bell menus. I don't know how that works in the corporate food world, but hey, it does work sometimes. All right, and Taco Bell moves on. No questions asked. It's so easy. Like Taco Bell, top tier. Top tier. Five guys versus Bojangles. Oh, no. They, they can't do this to me. They cannot do this to me, son. This is five guys. I got to go with five guys. I they're, they're so supreme, and they don't even have to do much. Less is more sometimes. Wingstop versus PDQ. I don't even know how Wingstop got this far. I feel like their competition and their region wasn't that great. But PDQ wins. PDQ wins, bro. PDQ. PDQ, the 11 seeded Cinderella, makes their way into the Elite Eight after the dethroning the 10 seed Wingstop. All right. So we have our Elite Eight field. We're going to start with this Elite Eight matchup five guys versus PDQ. Five guys. Five guys wins. P PDQ is great, but it ain't better than no five guys. It's just not. Five Guys never misses. They don't miss. They don't miss. Now, Sonic versus Taco Bell. Taco Bell, though. You got to go to Taco Bell. So, we're going to have a one and two seed matchup for our final four. And now, we have McDonald's versus Chipotle to get into the final four. Oh, my God. This is, this is tough. I really got to think about this. I... <sighs> The thing with Chipotle, I will say, and um, Ethan Klein off of the H3H3 podcast and H3H3 Productions that said, places like Chipotle and Subway, you can get different things, and somehow they still kind of taste the same. And I feel like that has to do with the base they use for their ingredients. Like, if you get the cilantro lime rice, it's going to affect the whole meal regardless. If you get the same beans and you just switch up the meat, it's going to taste the same. Now, I cannot blame that on them at Chipotle. But I will say Chipotle, their quesadillas aren't that good. I don't really get their burritos. 
But their chips, they do be hitting. They do be hitting. And they just got that new queso, and that hits. It's better than their old queso. But I honestly have to go with McDonald's. I have to go with McDonald's. I have to go with McDonald's. I'm I'm sorry, guys. Now we're moving on to Domino's versus Cookout. Cookout is great. Okay, Cookout is great. But is Cookout better than... Hell no, Cookout is not better than Domino's. Domino's moving on into the final four. So that is your final four. McDonald's, Five Guys, Domino's, and Taco Bell. All right, so for our first matchup, Domino's and McDonald's. Oh, my God. Why are they doing this, bro? Why are they doing this to your boy? Oh, man. I'm going to have to go with McDonald's. McDonald's just, like, their quarter pounders, their chicken sandwiches, their $1 menu, their breakfast, the McGriddles. Like, it's, it is, like, this... This bracket is made for them. They are the, the number one overall seed going into this. All right. And then Five Guys versus Taco Bell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. This is tough. This is tough. I'm not going to lie. But um, you remember I said less is more at Five Guys? Yes. But here's the thing. You cannot go to Five Guys three times a week. Because you will get tired of it. But you go to Taco Bell. You can go there five times a week. Keep getting something different. And it will still satisfy. The Cinnabon Delights. Or the Cinnamon Twist. You got some sweet treats there as well. And you know they got their um their drinks. The freeze drinks. Those they slap. The Baja Blast. Come on. The Baja. Because of the, the Baja Blast. The X Factor. He just came off the bench. Scored 12 points. And led Taco Bell to the decisive victory over number one seeded five guys. So it is now McDonald's versus Taco Bell. Oh my god, bro. I And this is a tough matchup. This game was decided by one point. At the buzzer, we have... Taco Bell, Taco Bell, winning it all in this tournament. Shout out to Taco Bell, bro. Shout out. They just, they, they just manhandled their competition. They did. I'm sorry, y'all. So Taco Bell wins. That's what I think. Let me know how y'all would have it below. All right, Taco Bell is your champion. Thank you for watching. This has been another J-Rob video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, stay safe, wash your hands, and peace.